This can happen to you if you're not careful about it. I recently purchased this 6mm Ethos from Televu and I was very excited to show you the performance of it while I was preparing my video about those mysterious lunar swirls in the moon which would be awesome to watch through this eyepiece of course. And I was so anxious to do that that I didn't wait for the night to come because the moon was already very bright in the sky during the day. But I was not expecting I was going to make a huge mistake. That can happen to you as well. And maybe you will notice that mistake before I tell you later in the video. So let's watch the behind the scenes. Oh god. So let's watch the behind the scenes. Where I did that mistake. So first I placed my equatorial platform to track the sky. Then I place the rocker over it. This is the rocker of the King, the 12 inch Dobsonian telescope. And then finally the beautiful and heavy 12 inch Dobsonian telescope, which I love and it's my preferred. And now here I go with the 6 inch millimeters eyepiece from Telavu. There we go, preparing the video. Okay, so I have the eyepiece inserted into an extension. I need to do that to have back focus because I have the primary mirror is closer than usual to the secondary mirror. So I can use focal reducers, everything. So first I will use the tail rod to find the moon. It's very easy. So finding the moon with the tail rod, very easy. Just point to the moon, the moon I will is super bright. The platform to have tracking. The moon that is means the moon will stay in the field of view. The moon is super bright. You can also use a finder scope. Okay, we have the moon. It's not focused, so I will focus. At this moment, I thought it was just out of focus. And I'm trying to focus the <laughs> telescope with a remote. I will pull the eyepiece a bit. I couldn't get focus. Yes, I, thought. I need more distance. Now I need more distance, I said. No, I thought that I needed to... Yes, I need more distance. To pull the eyepiece, sometimes I have to do that because of the back focus. This all footage was unusable. We have the hole on the background. Okay, I will have to use an extension. It's incredible that I didn't realize my mistake yet here. Incredible. So I decided to add a spacer. Now I will refocus. We get a larger eyepiece and I still trying to refocus and of course I couldn't get focus and no it's not the cap of the telescope another mistake I made which you can see in another video but you can see here that I'm grabbing the top of the telescope with the fingers inside what I'm watching is a blurred moon the moon is completely blurred and I think that I'm it's trying to find the Terminator and I think it's out of focus I'm a bit lost here and it's very hard it's hard <laughs> I will have to do two things one look at me look at me is to insert my moon filter because moon filter. the moon is very bright right now it's almost full it's very bright so I will insert a moon filter a variable filter Look, look, I'm thinking. And I will watch the map of the moon to make sure of the position in the moon. What could it be? I was thinking, what could it be? At this moment I was thinking that it was super bright, the moon. It was impossible to focus, some problem that I couldn't understand because it's a Televu 6mm. And I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, let's insert the moon filter. The filter is good, the, the moon filter is very good. This is like a double filter that you turn around and it gets brighter or darker. Yes, it's very good. With and this you have filter, to take off the eyepiece 
screw the filter. Adjusting the brightness. I wonder if you already realized what was my mistake. I still can't see anything well. Everything is blurred. And now the moon is not so bright. It's not so bright. And it course. doesn't hurt the eyes. Yeah. Now focus the telescope, Tiago. Now I have to refocus. Yeah, refocus. Try that. Nope. Still blurred. Yes, I think I wa I'm watching the, the swirls. No, you're not. No, you're not. Look at me, trying to refocus again. I'm starting to get very nervous here. It's a Televu, my god. Six millimeters. The best brand on the market. And I couldn't watch the moon clearly. Yes, I can watch them. So now I will wait for the night to come. So I can have a better view of the moon. A better view. And try to watch them again. No, you're not. I'm using the six millimeters at good. night. Right now. Look. Watch them. Look how blurry it is. Super blurred. Top. This is impossible. It's too bright, the sky. No, it's not. So we will try later. So now that it was darker, I still couldn't watch the moon with my 6mm Televu, my brand new one that I purchased. And nothing. Completely blurred. Even at the night. I didn't realize yet my huge mistake. Now. Look my justification for this problem. Because as I didn't realize the mistake, I was trying to justify it. But keeping recording the video of the moon swirls. Well, this is amazing. I'm learning a lot with this. Oof. I just found that with my 6mm Televu eyepiece, huh? the scene is not so good. No, it's the scene. And I couldn't get a crispy moon. Okay view it was the so same so i changed my eyepiece for my nine millimeters from explore scientific the one i love the most of course and the views are very very good and what i found is that what i was thinking it was the reiner gamma it was not it was the aristarchus crater which is super bright of course it's super bright I, the moon was blurred and I made a mistake of thinking that the Aristarchus crater, which although it's bright, it was super blurred. I thought it was by the shape. I thought it was the Reiner Gamma. Now with these sharper views, I can clearly see the difference and I could find the Reiner Gamma. Of course, with a 9mm eyepiece, Everything was clear and crispy because I didn't make the same mistake with that eyepiece. It's not that that eyepiece is better than the 6mm Televu. So at this moment I was thinking, okay, I purchased the 6mm Televu. It's crap and the 9mm, it's the best one. I will keep using that. But of course I was feeling bad because of the views of the one that was supposed to be the best one. Then I realized my mistake and I made the part of the video that later was uploaded to my channel with a 6mm eyepiece with an excellent view. Wow, this is incredible. It looks like a small fish with a tail. Let me try to show you. Look at him. My mistake was that this Televu eyepiece has a 2 inch barrel outside and a 1 and a quarter inside. So you can use it at 1 and a quarter and at 2 inch. The problem was that I'm not used to this. I'm used to 1 and a quarter eyepieces or 2 inches eyepieces. The 2 inches eyepieces have this cap or this kind of cap or this one. And the one and a quarter, the same, but one and a quarter, of course. So the problem was that the cap was in the eyepiece. If you didn't notice, rewind, because since the beginning, 
I was grabbing the eyepiece like this with this cap inside. Yes, I use a spacer from now because this spacer like this keeps the eyepiece in two millimeters and I don't have to use this one and a quarter cap. I just use without any cap so I don't do this mistake again and I have the eyepiece like this and store it with a two inch cap. Of course the cap if the cap was this one I wouldn't watch nothing through the eyepiece and maybe I would realize faster my mistake but as it was a transparent cap I was watching the moon but super blurred I was not understanding anything that was how dumb I was and if you want to watch more things like this check this video here that is amazing you will not believe it